to wear my superhero t-shirt for today's video because someone has to take a stand against the number one trick used by most food companies and nutritionists. The statement that doctors have said or research has proven that something is good for you. And of course that something is exactly what is being sold to you in that product. So today, in less than five minutes, I'm going to prove to you exactly how easy it is to create the perception that doctors of, or research have corroborated something. It was the 1920s in America and the Beechnut Packing Company hired a person called Edward Bernays to help increase their sales of bacon. Now a typical public relations person may have run a marketing campaign on how this particular bacon was better than the rest or offered some sort of a sale or a discount on bacon. But Mr. Bernays decided that he would solve this problem by taking advantage of certain aspects of human psychology. And in retrospect, this shouldn't come as a surprise because he was also the nephew of a certain Sigmund Freud. So Edward met with the physician of his firm and had him send a survey to about 5,000 doctors across all of America. And that survey contained two fairly general questions. The first one was, would you agree that a person would feel better if he or she had a hearty heavy breakfast first thing in the morning as opposed to having something light or not having any food at all? And most doctors ticked yes. And the second question was, would you agree that eggs and bacon would constitute such a hearty healthy breakfast? Again, most ticked yes. He then ran a campaign in all the newspapers and magazines saying that over 4,500 doctors across America agree that eggs and bacon comprise a hearty healthy breakfast. So let's understand this for a minute. Did he actually conduct something that can be termed as scientific research? Yes, he surveyed a population. Did he lie or fabricate his results? Absolutely not. What he did do is conduct his research in a way that he got the exact result that he wanted. And finally, was this research based on actual physiological evidence? No, but that was never mentioned. So was this campaign successful in increasing the sales of bacon? Absolutely it was. But the impact that it had was so profound that even today, about a hundred years after that event, if I were to mention eggs and bacon to you, you would automatically assume that I was referring to breakfast. Although there's physiologically no reason why this set of nutrients can't be had at any other point in the day. So next time you have the urge to justify something saying, oh, but I've always heard doctors say, or people always say, this is how easy it is to create that perception. I will leave you with this one thought. That event happened in 1925 when the ability to actually own a food company and run such an advertising campaign required you to have some means. Today, just about anyone can launch a nutrition program or health food products and launch a worldwide campaign using social media platforms. All they have to do is ensure that the marketing includes keywords like keto, fat loss, acidity, diabetes, health, and they're home free. Whether they've actually done any research or even understand the fundamentals of nutrition doesn't really matter. This is because they are operating with the same confidence that Edward Bernays had over a century ago. And that is, if you are able to confidently promote your product, there is a very high chance that people will never ever ask for the evidence. Give that some thought the next time you see a health product on your social media feeds. Until next time. If you've enjoyed the way Trulene presents the science behind fat loss, health and fitness, please like, subscribe and do share these videos.